Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Credential and today we're going to be talking about setting up your own RTMP server. Now you can use that for local use and just have it locally done or you can also use that to restream out to multiple platforms. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone in this video. Um, before we get more in details here, if you are if you don't have any Linux experience, I do have a Windows version for you so you can set up your own RTMP. TMP server on a Windows, but we're going to be using a Linux. I'm using Ubuntu. I do have a virtual machine up. However, I'm tunneling with that with via PuTTY. Now, um, let's go ahead and talk about restreaming out to um, just restream. There are services out. So there's restream.io and there's Joycaster. Those two I'm aware of. So basically within their diagrams, it's basically this is you, this is their services, and you will they will stream out to YouTube, Periscope, Facebook, same thing, Twitch, uh, Mixer, VK if you're Russian, etc. So both services do the same functionality, just different um, web display. Both companies are really awesome, especially Restream. Restream is a great community. Um, I've been a customer with them for quite a while. There's nothing wrong with their what they're doing, but however, there's something wrong if you are, um, for example, if you own YouTube or if you own Twitch or if you own any streaming sites and big companies, and if I find out that you are streaming to another platform, I'm going to put you in an algorithm that does not give you exposure. And that's what these companies do. They find out how and what and who, and they put you in an algorithm. So basically, in my um, little sheet here, I know it's not all greatly animated. Here's you. Here's the other people that use the services that streams out to all these platforms. Now, when there's a pool of people using the same IP, and yes, I know that there's, with Restream and uh, Joycaster, they have multiple RTMP servers servers based on the location near you. But there's a pool of people out there who use that. So essentially, we're going to pretend that it's just that one server, but you know, you, you get the, you get the point. Everybody is connected to all these RTMP services that the Restream and Joycaster has to offer. Anyways, because the pool of people use Restream and Joycaster as a proxy and that Restream's out. So Twitch, uh, YouTube, Facebook, et cetera, they are seeing a pool of people on the same IP going on their channels. Now that's a little bit odd. It's like, okay, so there's like hundreds of people on the same IP. Let's take a look at this IP and where it's coming from. Okay, so it's coming from Restream or Joycaster. What do they do? Oh, they restream out to multiple services? Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and put them in an algorithm so they don't get much exposure. We want exclusive content on our platform and that's how they do that so if you're like a twitch affiliate or a twitch partner you definitely cannot uh, stream out to other services um i don't know how youtube feels about it i know with facebook they don't want you to restream out um i don't know about mixer but anyways um you get the point so it's all based and everything like Restream and Joycaster has been in the game for a while, so Twitch is like, okay, well, we know of the service and how Restream brands out, is, especially on Twitch, they put you in this community um, where it's like, hey, you know, join Restream, and that's how they advertise their services out there, or besides word of mouth. So how we're doing this is we're setting up a RTMP server box and we're restreaming out on a single connection, but still broadcasting out to these services. So it's not like all these people are connecting to your RTMP server, unless if you want them to, then that's a whole different story. Then you just basically um, put yourself in that algorithm. So we wanna keep ourselves out of that particular algorithm and into um, where we're tricking Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Mixer are saying, hey, you know, this is exclusive content, and they'll put you back in that algorithm that, you know, you can get more of that exposure. So that's how it works out. Um, if you need any more details on that, feel free to ask. I'll give you more of a detailed um, description in the comments. So 
of how they can find out and why and whatnot, all that algorithm. Um, so let's go ahead and continue on with the video here. Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys other stuff. So even like, for example, I was using XSplit, right? And I was broadcasting out with XSplit. You can broadcast out onto multiple channels using your own connection. And I try to figure out how to do it on OBS, which there is a add-on. I don't know where that add-on is, but I was trying to figure out how to restream on my platforms because I started to like OBS better. Then I found out about Restream. So I was like, oh, okay, that's convenient. But um, um, as the time that I started noticing, everything just started to depleting in viewership and the less of the exposure. So... Uh, let's go ahead and minimize all of that. So let's go on with the video. Now, if you guys can do me one big favor is to subscribe to the channel, hit the post notifications every time I live stream um, or even upload a video, you'll be notified. Come to my live stream. Say what's up. If you have any technical questions, let me know what they are and let's see if I can answer them for you to the best of my knowledge. Um, Hit the like button and share it on all of your social media. Everything what you'll need is in the description below. Visit codextral.cc, my website, for all of the resources and anything else that you may need. Um, and yeah. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, if you want to run a terminal, oh, let's go ahead and cancel that. If you want to run a terminal from Ubuntu, awesome. Just type in terminal from Ubuntu, and uh, this is where we're going to be typing in the commands. Um, like I said, I'm using PuTTY, so make sure that you run as root. Uh, so to get to root, uh, it's either you can type in sudo and you don't have to run as root or just type in sudo dash i then you'll be able to run as root so this is the commands that we're going to be using make sure that you always update your linux machine with these commands and you'll it's like you know with windows update you always want to make sure that you have um updates so i've already ran all of these commands um after you run this command you want to then run this command right here copy that and we're gonna go ahead and go through the script here and um, at the very bottom what you need to do is copy and paste this in so we're gonna come back to this file and we're gonna modify it additionally if you are already running a patchy server um, what you need to do is comment this uh, block out with the pound sign so block that out block this line out block every line that does not have a pound sign or a hashtag out then you'll be good so that's if you're running a apache server already on the ubuntu machine so now that you have that already running what you have got to do is hit Control o save the file hit Control x then you're going to go ahead and run this command and i've already done that then you want to run the next command just type in reboot so reboot your server then come back in here so now what well we already have the server up and running actually we do not um to get the server up and running you're going to type in service uh, nginx start so that's what you want to type in next and paste that in and now our server is running so now what let me open up VLC uh, and let's set up our OBS or let's pretend it's XSplit if you use XSplit or whatever you use so let's just put that there um, I want to display something on my screen to uh, indicate that I am streaming so let's just put in the text uh, name it as that this is live go ahead and hit done okay so we're gonna go ahead and go towards our settings and we're gonna go to stream we're gonna to go to custom streaming server and you're gonna type in your URL. So it's going to be the RTMP colon slash slash, then the server IP. Um, that's the server IP. Then you can type in live after that. Then if you want a stream key, just type in test and hit done. Now um, you're gonna hit go live 
and it's going to indicate if we're going live or not. Okay, so yeah, we're going live. So that is transmitting the data through. And with our VLC player, we need to go towards the open network stream. And same thing. And go ahead and paste that in. And now it's connecting towards the local ARIA TMP server. Ta-da! So we're totally streaming on our local network here. So how do we restream out to like Twitch or Facebook or any of that matter? So let's go ahead and uh, end the stream and it'll just, it'll just stop. So right there, yep, it stopped. Okay, so what we need to do is go back to our config file. So what we need to do is stop this real quick, then go back to our config file If it wants to, there we go. And type in the nano and go to the config file, go to all, all the way down, all the way down, back to the script. So right below the record um, off with the semicolon, what you need to type in is push and we need to get to the RTMP um, URL on, on Twitch or Mixer or whatever you use. So, if you type, I'll, I'll provide links below. Um, I want to stream at the Denver, Colorado or Phoenix, Arizona. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and paste that in. And it's also saying that we need the stream key. So take note on that. Uh, let me paste this in. So it's slash, then we're gonna go ahead and get the stream key, which I'm completely fine of showing. I created a new account. I'm just gonna reset it anyways. Like. It, it doesn't matter to me if I, you know, if you see it or not, I'm just going to reset it, but it's a dummy account. So once you get your stream key, then it'll be that. Then you're going to add a semicolon at the end of that. So it's going to be push uh, space R, the RTMP URL. Then after that, then your stream key. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in. And let's go ahead and paste that into the config. And okay, so yep, it took it. Hit control O to save and control X. And now we're gonna go ahead and start up the service. And so the service is start up. Now it's just waiting on us to live stream. So let me go ahead and go towards my channel uh, player and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit go live and give it a second and it's gonna go live. Uh, play. Am I not doing something right or did I reset it again? Ah, advertisements. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going live. It's it's streaming. It, it it took a second. So we're gonna wait till after the advertisement. Yep, see, we're live. Now, um what you wanna do is go on towards a uh low latency to get that stream up faster. So I'm just letting you know and it'll be more in real time with interaction with your viewers. So there's that. So let me go ahead and just end the stream. And it's gonna end the stream on that, obviously. What if you wanna restream out to multiple services? Well, what you need to do is, again, um, push, get the RTMP server. Um, let's go back to here. So you're just gonna add an extra line below, basically. So push then the RTMP server. And if you want to stream to another one, it's going to be the same one, then the RTMP server that you want to stream to, um, so on and so forth. So that's how you restream out and set up your own local uh, RTMP server. So um, I hope that this video was valuable to you. Um, if you like it, please share, please like it, 
uh, come say hi on my live streams or if you have any questions, you know what to do. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, if you are a Windows user, again, a Windows link will be down in the description below. So it will cover the Windows version of how to set up the RTMP server. Okay, guys, I hope you guys take care and peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, running right till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake. As long as you